So good old four came out, but um, there's a lot of content to cover and you might be feeling a bit confused or even overwhelmed, which is fair. Even with a bunch of new videos covering this, you might still feel really lost and confused about what to do next. And you might even be asking yourself, well, how exactly does this even affect me? And what do I do now? Well, in this video, I'm going to be answering that question. All right. So my first favorite um, addition is going to be the templates. So Godot now have a few templates for different nodes. My favorite being the character body 2D. And as you can see here, now when I try to add a script, I can obviously still have it built in or not. And we now have a template. So if I do this and create, it now creates a, uh, a very simple 2D platformer template. That's it. And now, uh, so here we have our player. Let me add a floor so our, our player doesn't actually just fall. So we have to make this a child of, ooh, hold on, collision. There we go. And let's create a body and let's play. And so now our player, whoop, what is happening? Why is it so slow? There we go. So now our player can move right and up and to the side and can even jump. And this is a very super duper fast, simple way to create our uh, player in Godot. So this is really cool. And this leads me into my next point. The next change that you might want to know about is move and slide. So move and slide no longer takes velocity as an input or anything. In fact, um, it takes nothing. And so does move and collide. So we now only have two things, move and collide and move and slide. So they both now only take the built-in velocities and you can read more about it. Whoops, not by deleting that. If you go to control and hit this, you can now read more about it. It'll explain it more in detail, but essentially you have to set the velocity of the player beforehand before actually moving and sliding. So it'll take the velocity the player has and then move. And the same, it works the exact same way with uh, move and collide, I believe. So that is one change that you might want to know. Now, one of my favorite additions and many people's favorite additions is the tile set. As you can see on the side, we, I have a tile set preset here. So there is a bunch of new things that have changed. Uh, I have a much better video uh, that goes more in detail. And there's actually a lot more videos that go in detail on this. So I won't go over too much, but basically we now have tile set and tile map. There's a bunch of new ways to um, change this. One of my favorite additions is the layers. We now have different layers that we can mess with. We have terrains, um, patterns, and there's a bunch of new really cool things and ways to change the tile set. So the tile set has changed and been reworked quite a bit. So definitely check that out. Um, I have a video on that. I'll link it down in the description below. So definitely check that out. All right. And this one messed me up quite a bit. Um, yeah, as you might be able to see the pixel, uh, the image that we have imported is no longer pixelated. And if you go to the import tab and we try to re-import it, that doesn't really exist. Like the, um, I forgot what it was called, but it was basically allowing you to make it uh, pixelated. Now this is no longer a thing. This is now going to be in our filter texture. So if I default it to default, we can see it inherits. So it's not actually inherit. I think it'll default to linear map and you can now change it to nearest and that'll pixelate it. Or you can go into project settings on the top left. And if you search up filter settings, search up texture, text, texture, go to textures. And I believe, yeah, here we go. We can kind of change the default uh, filters of everything. And so every node has this now. So that is something to look out for when you are using 2D pixel art in your game. All right, next up is Y sort. Y sort is gone. There is no such thing as Y sort anymore. So as you can see, Y sort is just not even in the game or in Godot. Um, however, Godot, yeah, Y sort is still here. It's just not a node anymore. So we now have ordering. We now have Y sort enabled. This is essentially every node in Godot now has Y sort um, built into each function or in each node. So that is something you're going to have to play around with and figure out. But that is just a quick heads up that Godot, that Y sort is now kind of disappeared if, and you're kind of wondering where it's gone. There it is. And a quick tip, it is now also in the tile set. Um, in the tile set, there is a Y sort option. So you can definitely check that out. Kinematic body no longer is here. Now they have changed it to character body. So there's a few name changes that have happened. So that's one of them. Um, there's also marker 2D. That is 
marker 2D. That's position 2D, I believe it used to be called, but now it's called marker 2D. So those are some things to look out for um, if you're wondering where they, they've gone. They have not disappeared. They've just been renamed. Um, one last thing I'm going to mention, actually, uh, that I forgot to mention is tween is now also gone. It is no longer a node, but it, built, it still does exist. So we can now say um, get tree dot dot tween create tween and so that's how you create it you can no longer have a node as a tween but you can create it so it, it'll still be a node obviously but you can't add it manually you have to make, create it through code one of the cool additions that Godot 4 has actually changed that kind of went under the radar which is kind of interesting is file access file access has changed um, let me show actually in my game so here, I actually made a tutorial on this. Um, you can definitely check it out. But basically, we now call file access instead of, I think, file it used to be. So that's one thing to look out for. Um, they have actually, it, it seems more detailed and it's really cool that they've added this. So definitely check that out. I have a video on it. It'll be in the link down below. So check that out as well. One other quick tip is um, they have now added the at. So at if you want to export, or I think there's a lot of other ones on ready icon. There's a lot of things that have now added um, the at thing. So you now need to add this before I like exporting, for example. So if you want to export or if you were trying to export like this, doing ver whatever, that's no longer going to work. You're going to have to say export ver int whatever. So that is now how you export. And one last thing to look out for is the control nodes. All the control nodes now have changed their layout a little bit. So the transform, size, position, rotation, all that is now inside transform, but you it's also inside layout. So as you can see, there's no transform here or anything. It's not gone. It's just inside layout. So inside layout, we have a new few things. There's uh, This has always been here, but there's a few new things that they've added, like container uh, container sizing and et cetera. So definitely check that out and don't worry too much. Your transform is not gone. It's just moved a little bit. So that's one thing to look out for. If you guys are still here, thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you like this channel or this video, go subscribe down below and I would like to see you guys around. So definitely join my Discord down below. The link is down below in the description. So go check that out. Um, I also would love to if you guys comment and like and share the video for the algorithm so this video can blow up. Um, I would love to see this video hopefully help as many people as I can. If not, that's okay. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.